So Facebook Live wasn't working, so we're just going to film this last casting of the day. And then we'll post it, and you can watch it. Let me know when you're ready for the class. I'm ready for the metal. If you hit it in the middle, it'll melt and cave in. What's up? If you hit it in the middle more than that one piece, it'll melt and cave yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, you can put the glass in. It's fine. That's loaded. Let me know when you're ready for spinny spinny time. Alright, one, two, three. Lots of dust in the air. So the molten metal shot into the glass where the wax used to be. The There's little... a tall kiln, it's hard to stop. What's that? It's a tall kiln, I can't push in the center very easily. A tall flask? Yeah, sorry, tall flask. Yeah. It's alright, you can just let it go. So basically those wax flowers that I made uh, before and I posted pictures of, I put in the steel flask covered it with a plaster silica and then put that into a kiln and burnt all the wax out of it leaving a channel for the metal to flow into and so in just a second here you're going to see that you have a little button and that button is where the metal flowed into the mold and uh, turned our flower into silver. I'm just trying to grab the whole crucible, yeah. shake it away, here, there we go, grab this flask, and we'll check the button, interesting, and we'll dunk this right behind you, very hot.
Oops. <laughs> So we gotta clean off that piece now. We got fish for it first. We got toothbrush now. This water's about a million degrees hot right now. We can probably pull it. That was my finger. Need a fish scoop for this. Right. Oh, we got two for fun. Okay, so basically that's the casting process, and we'll post pictures in the comments below. Okay, bye.